The MRI is going to tell you the nuance of that back injury. It's going to tell you that it's a disc bulge of this much magnitude on the left-hand side. It might tell you there's some passage joint inflammation. It might tell you there's a bit of SIJ inflammation. It might be tell you this, that, and the other, right? But it doesn't change your rehab. The MRI, the MRI can be used and should be used, but is often not used, as a really helpful educational tool, not only for the practitioner to get a better understanding of things, but also for you to get a better understanding of your spine. And it's also a great educational tool to say, hey, look, John, you've got a lot of degeneration down at the L5-S1. You can see that it's tucked under, although you don't get as much usable information on the alignment side of things from the MRIs. We can see that it's looking very straight. We can see there's a, there's a big pocket of significant degeneration at L5-S1, but actually the rest of the spine is looking pretty good. Do you happen to spend a lot of time sitting every day? You can see that it's starting to play, it's play, play a role in the degenerative change and strain that's developing in this area. We've got to start to strengthen that, change some of what we're doing, how we're doing it on a daily basis to alleviate the inappropriate, consistent barrage of strain on the L5-S1. It can be used to inform and help you guys understand your own body and also understand the magnitude of things.